Hey guys, it's Kayla and I'm back with another video. This is a very exciting video because I finally got another bookshelf and in this video we're gonna set it up, rearrange all my books and I am so, so, so excited for it. If you've been here for a while, you know that my bookshelf is completely full and I also have a giant stack of books over there that does not have a home. I also have another bookshelf in the office that's completely full of random other books. So we were really, really in need of another bookshelf. I finally ordered one the other day. It's currently in the living room. IKEA very kindly delivered it this morning. So tonight we're going to build it. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. I built this one by myself when it came and I feel like it didn't take me too too long and Brian is here to help me this time so I'm hoping we can do it fairly quickly. So tonight we are going to build my bookshelf and set it up against the wall. I don't have the power drill to like connect it to the wall so we're just gonna have to be very very careful with it for now. And then tomorrow I'm going to lay out all of the books that I own and figure out how I want to organize and arrange them on my shelf. So that's that is the plan for this vlog. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Kayla. I am an author, social media manager, and a personal assistant, and this is my life here on YouTube. I also post a lot of book content on BookTok and Bookstagram, so you can follow me on both of those. It is currently 8.20, and I don't want to stay up too, too late, and I want to do some reading still, so hopefully we can build this bookshelf in like an hour. That is my goal. We'll see if we can do it, but let's go open our box and get started with building our bookshelf. Okay, here is our box. Let's open it and start building. Hello vlog. It is 9 10 right now and I just finished building the outer frame and put it on the back. It really didn't take that long which is nice. Now is when we're supposed to bolt it to the wall but we don't have the power drill so that will happen later. But I am going to get it set up here on the wall. Well Brian's gonna help me get it set up on the wall here and we'll probably put something under the front so it's like leaning against the wall. But right now I need to move this giant stack of books out of the way so that we can put the bookshelf here and then tomorrow I will sort all the books and put them back on the shelves which is going to be a very fun project. But for now I need to move all these books. I don't really know where I'm going to move them. I think I might put them under my desk for now and then we will put the bookshelf up. Okay, here is the giant stack of books. Most of these are books that I took with me to Vegas or have gotten in the mail since Vegas. So that's why they're all stacked here. And this bookshelf is completely full. I'm probably gonna take stuff down from here tomorrow to like reorganize all of them together. I wanna sort them by like author and favorites and all that stuff. So we will do that tomorrow. But for now I need to move all of these books and then we will set up the bookshelf here. Ta-da! Bookshelf is up. She is here. She is ready for books. I'm literally so excited to have both of my bookshelves. This is going to be so nice for backdrops for TikToks and YouTube videos to have like the full spread. I am so excited. It definitely took a second to get these lined up. This one is definitely like weighed down by all the books because they are on carpet. So I feel like it's kind of like pressed into the floor versus this one doesn't have anything on it. So it's like not fully aligned right now. Um, but I think once I put books on it, it will like level out. And also it needs to be bolted to the wall, but it's like leaning towards the wall. So I think we're okay as long as we don't have like any crazy things going on. But yeah, that is my setup. I'm so excited. Tomorrow I'm going to spend probably way too long organizing all my books. Um, I have a giant pile over there. I need to like take all of these down and like sort them. I'll probably use our bed and just like lay everything out and reorganize and figure out what is going where. And I am like excited about it, but also really stressed about it. But that that's tomorrow. I do think I'm going to go grab my new Camelot from the last chapter and put those up because that's definitely getting displayed. I think I'm going to put them up here on this side and then my like Devony Perry special editions are on that side. I feel like that's what we're gonna do um, but tomorrow we will we will organize the rest of this. Hello vlog. It is 11.15 and I am in bed for the night. I'm gonna read for a bit still. I really need to finish the ebook that I'm currently reading. I think I have like an hour and a half left. So I'm gonna try and finish this and then we'll wake up tomorrow morning and get started on organizing all of my books. Probably gonna take a lot of the day and I do need to get a little bit of work done too. So we'll see how it goes. I am not gonna set an alarm. I'm just gonna kind of wake up when I wake up, which will probably still be decently early. I'm going to try and not just sit on social media and scroll in the morning. I'm going to try and get up, get my day started because I want to get, because I don't want to spend too much of my day organizing my books or like too late in the day. So we're going to try and get up, get going, 
and yeah that's my plan for tomorrow i'm really excited to have another bookshelf now it's just so pretty over there and empty but we're gonna fill it all up with our books and i can't wait good morning vlog it is currently 10 at 20. i woke up a little bit before 7 30 got myself out of bed pretty quickly i only scrolled for like 15 minutes i think on social media showered got ready our roommate got donuts um, I made myself coffee. What else did I do? Oh, I had to post a few TikToks, and now I'm finally ready to start tackling my books. I'm really not looking forward to it. I know it's gonna take so, so, so long. I'm gonna find myself an audiobook and listen to that while I get to work. I might go on live later on TikTok, but for now, I'm just going to try and hop in and get started. I'm about to pull all of these books down and kind of lay them out on my bed and grab the giant pile of books over there that I'll show you in a second and like lay all my books out. I'm gonna try and organize them by author and genre I think so like small town romance rock star romance um, billionaire romance like the spicy spicy romance I have and then by author because I think that's how I want to like organize them on my shelves or at least that will give me a good starting point to how I want to organize it I have to pull out my book cart too and figure out what I want to keep on there what do I want to put on my shelves I have another box in the office that I need to go through and see what of those I want to try and fit on my shelf so this is going to be a project it's going to take us a bit of time but I really want to get it done today so that my books are nice and organized and not like all over the place anymore so that is my plan I will try and film as much as possible and give you updates throughout the day hopefully it only takes me a couple hours but we'll see I'll probably have to take a break at some point but yeah I'm gonna stop talking now and stop procrastinating this and just get started this is what my desk looks like right now I stacked a bunch of books on there and a bunch of books over here because I had to move all of the ones that were over there so it's pretty much just become pure chaos over there there's more books over there and my book cart so I need to pull everything out of here everything off my shelves get any of the books from the office and we're just gonna lay everything out and start organizing. Well, here we are. This is literally pure chaos, definitely not as organized as I thought, but I just tried to like kind of throw everything on here. Most of the books are here, there's a few more on my desk still and a few more in this box that I need to figure out what I'm doing with. Um, but these are ones I definitely want to try and fit on my shelf, so I'm just going to start grabbing and going, I think. I have a few authors over there that I know for sure I want, like, up more towards the top so that they're, like, displayed more in my videos and stuff. So I think I'm going to start with those and then just kind of pick and grab and, like, see how it looks on the shelf. I feel like that's just the best way to do it. There's probably an easier way, but that's what we're going with for now. I also have my book cart over here. I need to figure out what books I'm going to be keeping on here. I'm definitely going to be making one of these shelves TBR. It was the one on the bottom, but I think I'm going to put it on the top so that it's a little easier to like grab the books that I want to pick up. But yeah, this is the chaos. This is what we're working with. So I'm going to turn on a new audiobook because I just finished the one that I was listening to and get started. I have our little stepladder, I couldn't think of the name, and I'm just gonna start going. This is definitely a project and a half, but we're gonna do it. I'm determined I want my books to be organized. So let's go. Hello vlog. It is currently 1245 and we made some progress. This is about how much I got done and then I lay down and took a break for a second because I was already tired and kind of over it. But we still have a very large pile of books still to kind of sort and put up. I mostly just like don't know where I want to put the rest of them. Like I like this setup that we've got going on so far but I still have a lot more to get up there. And I want to display them all like where they can be seen. I don't want them like all shoved at the bottom like my favorites. So I'm just trying to figure out what I want to put where. But I'm going to get back into it because I want to have my books put away and have my room be clean and organized again so I'm just gonna hop in get after it I started listening to a Christmas audiobook I forget the name of it what is it called the billionaire Scrooge next door by Olivia Hale I saw someone post this on their stories and it's on Scribd so I'm currently listening to that so I'm gonna turn it back on and get back to organizing so that our books can be up on our shelves
Oh my goodness, we we have some bookshelves and they are so, so pretty. I just finished putting everything up. I definitely got a little lazy toward the end and just started throwing stuff at the bottom. The bottom shelves are like not very organized or make sense. I do have a big empty chunk over here, but for now we're gonna be done because I am tired, but I'm pretty happy with how it is looking. I am definitely going to struggle as soon as I get more books and not know where to put them. But for now we have a pretty good setup. I will show it to you in just a second. I also have to go through through some book mail so that I can sort where those are going. Maybe we'll do the book mail first and then I will show you the bookshelves once I get all of that stuff up there. And then I also got my box of like Christmas decorations and I think I'm gonna put some decorations like up on my shelf for the next month. After that I feel like they'll look sad and empty without all the little Christmas decorations. But I really want to put stuff up there and decorate for the holidays. So that's what we're gonna do. First let's go through our book mail and then I will show you the final product of our shelves for today. Okay let's do a little book mail haul. Most of the stuff was from when I was gone for Thanksgiving. I was gone for a week and I came home to a lot of packages, most of which were gifted to me, which I'm always really, really grateful for. So let's go through everything that I got. I'm like half sitting on my bed because my back hurts so bad from like climbing and moving around. So let's go through all this book mail. Um, I hope you enjoy this haul. First, I got two packages from the last chapter, which is the bookish box company I work for. First was like our staff Christmas box that Amanda sent us. The first thing was this sweatshirt, which is so cute. It says go where the story takes you. A bunch of cute little bookish designs and it says TLCB staff on it which I love. Then Amanda got custom mugs for each of us and like put ourselves on them like our faces which I absolutely love and it also says go where the story takes you. I just still can't believe that these are like our faces on a mug so I'm really excited about that. Also in the box was a stocking, a Christmas blanket, and then she also gave us the slippers that I'm wearing right now. They are pink and fuzzy and say merry vibes so perfect for Christmas. She also sent us early copies of our next two month boxes. Uh, why can't I think of the name? Book club boxes. We do them monthly and it's like one select book with a special edition cover. This was November's and it's Funny Feelings by Tara DeWitt and this is Happenstance by Tessa Bailey which is the December box. I absolutely love both of these covers and I'm so excited that we got early copies of them. Um, Let's see what else did I get? Oh I got a package from the bookworm box and I didn't order anything from the bookworm box so I was super shook and it's literally a copy of The Doctor by Nikki Sloan and I don't know who is watching me and like knew I wanted this copy. I saw this cover and I fell in love and I was like I need to get my hands on this desperately so I don't know like what FBI agent was watching me from the bookworm box but I'm so excited to have this cover and I, I truly don't know how I got this but I am just so excited for it. Oh I totally forgot about the other last chapter package. Let me go get the books off my shelf. The other package I got from the last chapter were my new Camelot special editions which these are just so special to me because this is one of my my favorite series. It was the first project I got to help with when I joined the last chapter team. I got to help design the covers like give input and feedback which is just so crazy and like the fact that these are now in my hands I'm just very unwell but they are so absolutely stunning. They all have a foil on them. They are hardback. That's American Queen. This is American Prince and then American King. They also all have interior formatting, which is just so stunning. And obviously I might be a little biased because I work for the last chapter, but I truly think these are just so stunning and I'm obsessed and I put them like front and center on my bookshelf now. So I'm gonna go put them back up there in just a second, but I'm absolutely in love with these. They also came with some stickers and bookmarks and also this art print, which like, if you know, you know, I'm absolutely obsessed with all of this stuff. So that is the other package I got from the last chapter. Chapter. This is a very long haul. I told you I got a lot of books in the mail, but then I got a few different Christmas books. I got The Goalie Who Stole Christmas by Callie Mel, uh, Holiday with the Players by Rebecca Genshock, and My True Love by Melissa Foster. Then I got some books from Morgan Elizabeth. She sent me her Ocean View series, which is The X-Files, Walking Red Flag, and Bittersweet. I just read her Christmas book, Tis the Season for Revenge, and I absolutely loved it, so I'm excited to dive into this series. And then my last two packages are from Hello Lovely Box. I ordered the Catherine Cowles collab box, and I'm so glad I did, because the book is A Shattered Sea, which I absolutely love this book. I love this series, and this cover is stunning, so I'm super excited about this. It also came with In a Jam by Kate Canterbury, which I've heard really good things about this book, so I'm excited about that. And then also Sabrina's Guide to Searching for Someday. I always get the full box, which comes with all the goodies. So it also came with a beanie. Um, it came with a tote bag, if I can open it. It says, find me in the pages of a good book, which I love that. 
and then it came with a few other like random good smelling things so that is the Catherine Kells box and then I also got my trope of the month box I think this was the sports one and it is trial by fire by Emmy Carter I haven't read this but I do really love this cover so I am excited about all the bookish mail that I got all of the books that I got I'm gonna try and get the last of this stuff sorted and organized and up on my bookshelves and then I'll give you like a final look and tour at least for now I'm sure it will change in like a week but I'll show you what we're working with Okay, I just put the final little decorations up on my shelf. I'm sure I'll find some more books and some more like decor things that I want to put up here. But for now, this is what we're rocking with. I'm going to give you the full tour. It's like semi-organized. I feel like the top like four shelves are pretty organized and then the bottom two are a little bit chaotic. But I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. I really like these like two top shelves with the books that I have displayed. I guess the two like full top ones. I'm just really happy to have all my books displayed and I just counted how many are on my shelves and between my shelves and my cart there's over 450 books which is a little bit insane and mind-boggling and I have a lot of books. That doesn't even include the bookshelf in the office or the full box of books I have over there that are gonna go in the closet so we have a lot of books. But books make me happy and you know what? It's better than drugs. Okay, let me give you the full bookshelf tour. I'm gonna try my best to like not take forever, but also go through it fairly thoroughly. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick pan over everything. This is what my shelves look like. Right now, I also have my book cart right here just because I was trying to figure out what I wanna put on it, but it's gonna go back over by my desk because the door opens right there. But this is how our shelves turned out. This shelf is more like the spicier, darker romance, and this is like the more lighthearted small town romance. Up in this corner, we have sports romance from all the way down there to Natasha Madison, and then Natasha Madison is kind of where it flips because she has both hockey and small town romance. Okay, well not focus, but she has a hockey romance and then small town romance, so that's kind of where the flip happens. Then I have a few Amy Dawes books because I needed a little section for right there. This whole shelf is Claire Kingsley. I have Hot Single Dad. I have the first three books in the Dirty Martini Running Club series. I have the Miles Family series, her new Christmas book, and then I have two sets of the OG Bailey Brothers covers. I just love the Hawkeye covers so much, so I bought myself a second set before they went out of production and then I'm displaying my two favorites here protecting you and fighting for us I love Asher and Grace and then I have my full Devonie Perry shelf I have the Lark Cove set I have the Lark Cove Kickstarter the special editions the first three books in the Eden series the special edition of Indigo Ridge I forget what company did this I bought it from someone on Facebook because I really wanted this cover and then I have the Jameson Valley series I also have some of her Will and Ash books but those went down there because I didn't have enough room on this one shelf and I have I haven't read those yet so those are kind of at the bottom for now. This is kind of a random assortment of small town authors. This is Catherine Kells, my stack of her books. I have Melanie Harlow. I'm surprised I don't have more of her books because she is one of my favorite. Um, I have a few other random small town authors. Laura Pavlov. I have my small town set from the last chapter which has flawless come back for me Travis moments in time in the connection. Here is kind of some more small town but more contemporary romance towards the bottom. This is Adriana Locke. She has some small town and some just general contemporary romance. A few other random ones I love, Corinne Michaels, Funny Feelings, Hero, Beneath the Stars, A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime. This is what I call my Bayside Heroes shelf. Some of my favorite authors all wrote a series together called the Bayside Hero series. So this is my stack of that series, both the original covers and then the discrete covers. And then all the authors around it are the authors that are part of that series. So I have my K.K. Allen stack, all of my Harlow Ray book. And then we have some Tia Louise and Candy Steiner. I definitely need some more of both of their books. And and then some other small town-ish contemporary authors. We have Stacey Hart, Megan Quinn, Willa Nash, Lucy Score, and then Max Monroe. That is the first shelf, which is my like small town contemporary shelf. And then this is the more spicier side of my bookshelf. The top shelf is mostly mafia. We have my Sophie Lark, we have Gianna Darling, Cora Riley, Rena Kent, and then we have Nikki Sloan, which is not mafia, but it's up there. That's kind of where it transitions to just other spicy contemporary romance. This is my Sierra Simone shelf. I'll be fully transparent. The only series I've read from her so far is the new Camelot series, but I also own her pre-series. I guess I have read A Merry Little Meet Cute too. And then I have some of the Thorn Chapel series as well, but new Camelot is one of my favorites of all time. And I love the last chapter special edition, so I wanted to display those, and 
I'm definitely going to get to Sierra Simone's other series. I also put the art print for New Came Lot up there on top of the pre-series. So that is my Sierra Simone shelf. Then we get to some other contemporary spicy authors. T.L. Swan, I love the Miles High Club series so much. We have Anna Hong. I absolutely love the Twisted series and I have all my special editions too, which is a lot of them. We have King of Wrath. We have Sarah Kate's Salacious Players Club series. And then I have the first book of the Wolf Hotel series, which is also one of my all-time favorites. I definitely need to get the other three books in that series for my shelf. This is a random assortment of other spicy authors. I have a huge stack of Samantha A. Cole books that I got at Vegas. We have Penelope Douglas, Ashley Jade, Catherine Moon, Kitty Robert, a good stack of Jodi Ella Malpass, QB Tyler, Fiona Cole, Marnie Mann, uh, I don't know what else is over there. Oh, Kennedy Ryan. I really love the uh, All the King's Men duet. This is my J.A. Lowe shelf. She has kindly sent me a lot of her books. So that is this whole shelf. I didn't really know what else to put on this side of the shelf with her books. So for now, I'm just going to leave it the little Christmas truck and candle. This side of the shelf is like all rockstar romance, which also kind of goes with J.A. Lowe's rockstar romance up there. These are all rockstar romances over here. And these are some just other like darker contemporary romances. Also have Ice Planet Barbarians, some Omega verse from Sarah Blue, H.G. Carlton, a few other random authors. And then this bottom shelf is pretty much all lighter contemporary romance. I ran out of room on that side, so I just kind of threw a random shelf down here of some others. A few of these I've read, but most of these are on my TBR that I want to get to, so they're just kind of all down here at the bottom. And then over here we have my book cart. I have my stack of Carla Sorensen books, which these are all sports romance, but I didn't have any other room to put them up there with those sports romance. I'm down on the floor, so they're way up there, but I didn't have any other room over there, so I thought I would just leave them on my cart for now. I've read Focused and Forbidden, and I really want to read the rest, so I don't mind keeping them on this cart because this top shelf is all my TBR. Actually, I already read Tis a Season for Revenge, but I still put it on here. Um, I put some other Christmas reads that I want to pick up. Love Light Farms is also Christmas, and then I want to read the rest of the series. The Sexy Stranger by J. Lo is also a holiday-ish romance, and then some others. The Badge by Lena Hendricks and Breaker by Harlow Ray that I want to read like early next year. Sorry, it keeps going in and out of focus, which is really, really annoying. And then I also have a cup here of bookmarks. I don't use bookmarks a ton, but I thought it would be cute to display them. And this cup is from Fit Teacher Rachel's, one of her collab boxes. I don't remember which one, but I thought that would be a good way to store some bookmarks and add a cute little decor item to my book cart. I'm literally out of breath, but that is how my bookshelf situation right now. I'm so happy that I finally got another shelf and now most my books are up here on display. I have some of my favorites like displayed too, which just makes me so happy. I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. I think I need to finish cleaning off my desk so that my whole room is just clean and organized. I also need to fold some laundry. It is currently 3.51, so almost 4 o'clock. So I think I'm just going to try and like power through that so that my desk is clean for like the new work week. It's Saturday, but like after Sunday and then we'll be ready for the week. I feel like I'll just feel so much better once everything is like picked up and organized and clean. So I think that's my plan for the next little bit and then I have to make dinner and we'll chill and I want to do some more reading as well. I guess I'll still vlog the rest of the evening but the main priority for today and this vlog was my bookshelf and rearranging all of my books. So I hope you have enjoyed this vlog um, but we'll chill for the rest of the evening and chat. Tell me why as soon as all my books are organized on my shelf I get another book in the mail. Scoring Chance by Tegan Hunter. I absolutely love this series. It's probably one of my favorites of the year. The Carolina Comments series. There's another book coming out, I think in January or February. I forget which one. This is the newest release in the series and it's probably one of my favorites, either this or Sinbin, but all of the books in the series are really good. So I'm gonna have to find a place for this now on my shelf. I just finished cleaning my desk area so everything is nice and picked up. I only have one more box I need to deal with and I need to fold my laundry. But other than that, I feel so good that everything is clean and organized Organized and all my books have a place on my shelf. I hung up my stocking over there too. I found a few other candles that I put up on the bookshelf, but I'm feeling good, feeling great. Chilling here in my snuggie editing this video and I realized I didn't end it off. So hopping on to do that. This video is from a few weeks ago. I definitely went MIA again here on YouTube, but finally getting around to editing and uploading this. I hope you enjoyed seeing me setting up my new bookshelf. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And I love that I have more room for all my books now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave any comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I post a lot of work, lifestyle, book content here on my channel. And I would love it if you stuck around and subscribed. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next one.